Okay. Good. Great. You hear me? Fantastic. Well, um, it's the uh, yeah, fifth series now in the Soapbox sessions here in the Nordics. Uh, it's one of our most proudest parts of the day where we get the opportunity to present to you and have to amazing presenters of their new and exciting emerging concepts um, across the market. We've got people from <laughs> Container Parking, we have Nicole from Dreamland, Five Guys, Flow Station, K Beauty, and some compatriots from the UK as well, which is uh, always wonderful to see. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to start with start with uh, Philip from Container Parking, which is a super interesting, circular, local, but amazing concept that no doubt will travel far and wide. So without further ado, Philip. Ooh. It's scary with both this box, this box going in four minutes. The only thing missing is the clock ticking. But that is the end of the presentation. That's nice to start with. Could you take it from? But then it's good. You see the goal from the start. Hello, everyone. I'm Philip Adamo, and I'm from Container Parking that I have founded by myself. And I'm here to tell you that I got sustainable storytelling sold for you, and hopefully soon a presentation. Because uh, let's be honest, ESG means absolutely nothing to the average person on the street. But at the same time, it's very high on the agenda for everyone here. And it's one of the biggest opportunities to engage and connect, but also the most challenging, as you have to be both authentic and human. And we think we got the solution for you. Container parks, as you know, have been extremely successful all over Europe and understanding that we can only bring a sustainable future together. We identify the opportunity for container parking. Container parking is a joyful entry point to the sustainability issue. It's attract people and harnessing the power of storytelling to create positive change. It's a flexible plug and play concept, providing an efficient and effective way of making existing and future areas of development more attractive. The concept, container parking acts as a catalyzing force in the local area by attracting innovative activities, visionaries, circular entrepreneurs and visitors. There is an upbeat atmosphere in container parking and we are illustrating how real change can be brought about and sustained. It's both a temporary solution, you see, now you see it as well. It's both a temporary solution and one to help achieve long-term sustainability goals. It's a welcoming meeting place for co-creation, innovation and entertainment for everyone on equal terms. There's no entrance fee, there's no age limit, there's no hidden costs. It's just joy, public revelry and inspiration. So that was the first slide. The second. The third. And now we are somewhere here. From the outset, Container Parking has been a meeting place full of vitality and good curated content. Here, we walk the talk. Here, you can actually have a beer in your underwear while we repair your pants instead of buying new ones. Here, you can find inspiration to recycle what others no longer need. We focus on plant-based food, but offer carefully selected local and organic alternatives. Our children and youth gets involved in this inclusive venue, bridging generations and fascinating encounters. The power of art brings people together. A pulsating independent cultural oasis, cultural as a day of part of everyday life, no matter what your financial capital, regardless cultural and financial. It's exciting, cutting edge stakeholders on place to showcase example of actual change, innovation and opportunities. As you can see here, it's a tailor made plug and play concept. It's the entry point to sustainability issues while the cultural it's the tailor-made concept where every site is unique and in alliance with its surroundings because it's all about local acceptance and credibility. Container parking brings together what's already happening in the area but in one curated setting, easy for local and visitors 
to find and navigate through. This is the entry point to sustainability issues, while the cultural expressions in the park works as a tool for bringing people together and achieving change. This is the most innovative place for visionaries and circular entrepreneurs in the local area. It is the number one stop for visitors from near and far. We believe creating a physical meeting place as an embodiment of the vital transition to a more sustainable society. That is the most productive way to build long-term collaborations and strong, enduring partnership. Container parking happens right now. It's not a paper product, but an actual movement taking place in various parts of Sweden. Krutornet Container Parken Visby. We opened this one in 2023 as the test pilot in the project to see if it actually works during Almedalen. It's the world's biggest democracy meeting place for one week every summer, full of conversations, educational debates, and transformative power in Sweden. We have already become a fixture in the attendance diaries, and we're back this summer even bigger. Hus 33, a container park in Slakthusområdet. I was there yesterday. We opened in two weeks, and you are more than welcome to go down there to see what's actually happening. We will launch our first site here in Stockholm in two weeks on behalf of developer Atrium Jungberg, one of Fast Company's most innovative companies for 2024. Slakthusområdet, the meatpacking district, is one of the most exciting transformative area developments in Stockholm for the last 10 years. It's been used by Jim Jungberg as a placemaking tool to attract new residents to the area and commercial occupiers. Hus here will be a welcome addition to Slakthusområdet, and we are very proud to open our first park in two weeks. And then we have Piran in Visby. Next year, we will launch together with Region Gotland our second park on Gotland. And that is because of they are becoming climate neutral by 2040 is their goal. And together with us, they want to have that as a showcase on how this could be made by adding another container park into Visby. So tomorrow, as I say there, we're on a journey together. And where will we be tomorrow? No one knows, but I probably believe that there will pop up several container parks all over the world during the years. And the reason is very simple because it's for a better tomorrow together. Thank you for listening. Um, no forced questions, but does anybody have any questions they'd like to ask Philip now, pose to the audience, or we can obviously catch up with him afterwards? I'm here all day. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for and, listening. Thank you, and yeah, apologies for the uh, IT issue. Um, always happens. Um, but I think that's a... And really, really exciting concept for a multitude of regions. Obviously, there is the social aspect to it, um, what it can bring to society, how it can activate a local economy. It can bring in so many vibrant aspects to people to gather, talk, and address, obviously, a key issue. And then from the business perspective, from the, all the real estate developers out there, this is an amazing tool which can be used to uh, generate placemaking, activating areas which will be you know, live in five, six years' time, but you know, really start to sow the seeds, so to say, about what their vision is going to be, get people to reappropriate, think about how they use their resources during this process, and start that you know, really important conversation that matters to all of us um, earlier on and really raise the profile of it. So I think it's a super concept maker.